if your baby has an ear infection, and ear infections are very common in the childhood um, toddler ages. Okay. If your baby has an ear infection, the around the ear will be painful. So you find that whenever you touch it, your um, baby or your child cries. Mm. And sometimes because of the pain, they are forced to sort of touch it themselves mm -hmm. in a way trying to relieve the pain. So you find that they tend to pull their ears. They are pulling it. Even though it's painful, they tend to pull their ears. It's as if there's something there that is irritating them. If it prolongs, there will be an ear discharge. So you find fluid coming out of the ears. Sometimes it looks just like pus, mm -hmm. like when you mm -hmm. get a boil mm -hmm. and it bursts. Mm -hmm. The child may be irritable, may not want to eat, may be crying for no reason. You know, because um, some of them don't speak yet. They are non-verbal. Mm -hmm. They'll be crying for no reason. And they may have a temperature. So usually it's the temperature and the ear, the pulling of the ear that will draw the attention of the parents that something is happening to the child's ear. But sometimes it's just a fever. And mm -hmm. then they come when you look in the ear. Then you find that there's an infection there. What may cause an ear infection in a, in a baby? Um, so basically it has more to do with them just being babies. You know, okay. they are prone to cold and cough at that age. Mm. Um, just being babies because their immune system is not as mature. They haven't encountered all these viruses that at this age we have encountered already. Mm -hmm. So the next mm -hmm. time we meet them, um, we don't fall so ill. Mm. So it may be the first time they are encountering it has to do with their immune system, which is not so much sure. And then also the way, again, has to do with their, their growth, mm -hmm. their, their size at that time. Okay. So there are some differences um, in the way our ears are, our grown up ears are, um, compared to those of children. And those are the things that make them prone to getting um, ear infections. Mm -hmm. And sometimes to um, parents uh, over zealous, they feel that your ear must be very, very clean. So <laughs> any time after a bath, <laughs> then they put in cotton buds, trying to yeah. remove anything that may be there. Mm. Yes, that will also lead um, your child to have ear infections. So, I mean, you can clean like the external ear, but okay. when you put something inside the ear canal, mm -hmm. and then, mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes some of them actually go and hit the eardrum. Mm. Then you are cleaning, cleaning, because you want it to be so, so clean. That will also, um, may also give your child no, an doc, ear infection. I'm loving this